October is National Disability Employment Month, and it's important to build positive working relationships with coworkers who may have a disability. Okay, so we have Michelle Castro to open the door and give some tips here from Workforce Solutions. So good morning. It's good to see you. Oh, I see you in your Astros gear. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ladies, thank you so much for having me back. It is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. And, you know, Andrews, uh, the consulting firm Accenture just did a study about a year ago, and it showed that about 15% of the population has a disability, and 80% of those individuals who want and can work aren't working. So in, an, in, a, in a climate right now in the job market where it is uh, really a challenge for employers to find enough good workers, it makes sense that businesses tap into this talent pool. So you might find yourself working next to somebody who doesn't look like you and you know, sometimes that's awkward. Uh, and so the um, Spinal Association has some tips on how to build positive working relationships. And so first, you want to make eye contact. You know, sometimes it's it, we have a tendency to just kind of try and avoid things that make us uncomfortable, but not in this case. Make eye contact and acknowledge the disability, and that will break the ice and get you going. The next thing you want to do is speak directly to the person. So oftentimes, people with disabilities might have an aide, a companion, even a service animal, or a translator for a person who is deaf. Speak directly to the person. That third party knows how to intervene if it's necessary. But again, talk directly to that person. Uh, adjust your posture to be on eye level. So if you have a coworker who is who uses a wheelchair um, and you want to have a conversation, have a seat so you can talk eye to eye. It's very important that we always use people first language because it puts the person over the disability. And finally, don't ask intrusive questions until you build the friendship. So build that relationship first because you never know what caused that disability and that might be a sensitive issue. You. So again, uh, be a, create an inclusive environment because uh, we are all better when we acknowledge our differences and then work together to uh, move things forward. Oh, that is so true, Michelle. All right, we've got the available jobs on the screen. You can find them at mytxcareer.com. You want to highlight a couple of them real quick for us? Absolutely. So if you're interested in working with people with disabilities, the Texas Workforce Commission is working, looking for a, a vocational rehabilitation counselor. Uh, Resource Therapy Center in Houston needs a speech language pathologist. Uh, we're looking to place a home health aide, three of them in Texas City, a uh, physical therapist in the Woodlands, and the Harris County Department of Education in Humble is looking for an early childhood specialist. So reach out to us if you're interested in any of these or any other job. We're happy to help you out. Michelle Craster. Oh, Workforce Solutions, thank you so much. One job we know that's not open is uh, I, on the Astros. Yes. Being a hitter for the Astros. <laughs> <laughs> Go thank Astros. You. Thanks, Go Michelle. Astros.